This is Maya Rahal from WAMDA chatting with Nadim Abaisi, uh, the inventor of CryptoCat. Hi, Nadim. Hi. Tell us a bit about the platform. CryptoCat is an instant messaging platform like Facebook chat, like Google Talk, like MSN. Same thing, really easy to use, but the difference is that even though it remains easy to use, it's also encrypted. So that all your conversations that you have on CryptoCat are automatically encrypted and uh, made private from uh, people who might be listening in onto, onto your connection. So it's an experiment, it's still you know, under development for a year and a half now, but it works really well. And uh, you can use it to have encrypted conversations. And it's just as easy to use as Facebook chat. So it makes encryption accessible to anyone. Do you uh, tell us a bit about your user base and uh, how were you inspired to do this? OK. Um, my user base, we have around 80,000 users a month. Uh, they span from, I mean, I don't know who uses it, but I get emails from people telling me that they use it. So I get emails from journalists, from gay couples. I also get emails from human rights workers. Uh, I get emails from gender activists, all, all over, all over, really. Uh, just a vast amount of different cultures and uh, different uh, jobs and different uh, organizations and groups. And that's exactly what I want to see. Uh, you sh don't need to use CryptoCat if uh, you know you want to change the world or anything. If you uh, you can use CryptoCat just to discuss lunch plans with your friend. The the issue here is to prevent an open platform, to provide an open platform uh, to communicate that's just as easy to use as those other other platforms that people use, but also that provides uh, a modicum of privacy that's uh, there by default. And that's why CryptoCat is open source. CryptoCat is open source software. All of our programming is released in, almost in the public domain uh, as uh, free software. You can check our research for free, our methodology for free. You can look at our code uh, and improve upon it or study it to see that it actually works, you know, as, as I say it does, because you don't have to take my word for it, all for free. And uh, that's what's cool about the project. Were you inspired by the lat latest events uh, in the Arab Spring and in the region to do this? Uh, perhaps partly, but really, um, in perfect honesty, there wasn't a romantic uh, part of me creating CryptoCat. I just thought it would be a really cool project. I was taking a shower and I got the idea and I thought it would be a nice thing to work on. So it started off as a much less serious project as it is right now, but now a year and a half later, there's actually, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very organized, serious project with a, a sub uh, substantial research uh, body and we do a lot of testing and review and it's translated to over 22 languages, but that took a year and a half. So now it's, you know, some, it's extremely serious and I, take, and I take the project very seriously, but when it started, it was just me having fun. I was just in my, you know, sitting in my bedroom trying to find something to do with myself. That's, that's really it. Are you monetizing? No. CryptoCat, as I said, is open source free software. Uh, it, does, it is a non-profit. Uh, we do get some research funding and that's wonderful. Give us research funding. So, but um, we offer everything for free and it's offered in 22 languages. So we are trying to spread it as far as, far as possible. And it's uh, made to be, you know, as, as, as ex ready to access and as hard to eradicate from the world as humanly possible. Nadim Abaisi, inventor of CryptoCAD, thank you for chatting with Wamdo. Thank you. Thank you.